Hello students, the last video we were discussed about the parallel lines and the features of parallel gram. Hope all of you understood the features of parallel gram. Today we are going to construct a parallel gram. Before going to construct a parallel gram, all should know how to construct an angle. All of you know that we are using protractor to measure all the various angles. Here it is a protractor. In the protractor, if you look, look at carefully, you can see that the starting measurement is zero and if you follow the measurement, it is 180 at the other end. And beside the 180 degree, you can see another zero. It is also ending here at 180 degree. Apart from that, we have a center point right in the middle of a protractor. And we have a baseline. Here you can see the bottom line. This is a baseline of a protractor. Now, what we need to do is, we need to ensure two things before going to construct an angle. First thing is, the center point of a protractor should coincide with the vertex where we are going to construct an angle, like this. Second thing is, the baseline of a protractor should coincide with the line where we are going to construct an angle, like this. Let us check one problem here. Construct an angle 70 degree, 80 degree, 100 degree from the point A, B, C in the given line A, B. Now we can just construct 70 degree from the vertex A. So we need to coincide the center point of a protractor with the vertex A. And you can adjust the protractor to coincide the line like this. All of you know that the measurements start from zero. but most of, most of the students have a confusion here because here you can see two zeros, right side and the left side. If the line touches the right side zero of a protractor, then you can start counting from right side zero. If the line touches the left side zero of a protractor, you can start counting from left side zero. Here, right now, the line touches the right side zero of a protractor, so you can start counting from right side zero. Now we can take the measurement 70 degree. Here you, here you can see 0 to here it is 70. Now we can join the marking point and the vertex A like this. So this is 70 degree. Now we can construct 80 degree from the vertex B. So we have to keep the protractor like this. All of you know that the center point of the protractor should coincide with the vertex B and the line also should coincide with the baseline and you can adjust the protractor, you can keep it like this and one more thing you can see, the line touches the left side zero of a protractor, you can see here, so you can start counting from left side zero here and our measurement is 80 degree, that is zero 01, here it is you can see this is 80 degree. I just marked. Now you can join the vertex and the marking line like this. Sorry, like this. So this is 80 degree. Now we can construct 100 degree from the point C. All of you know that the center point of a protractor should coincide with the point C. And also the line, the entire line should coincide with the baseline of a protractor. Now we have another confusion here. You can see both zeros are touching the line. Then according to your plan or question, you can start counting from right side zero or left side zero. Now I am going to count from right side zero. Here we need to mark 100 degree. That is you can start counting from right side zero. Here it is. 100 degree. Now we can join with the vertex C and the marking point like this. So this is our right side, we got 100 degree. All of you understood thoroughly how to construct an angle. Now we are moving on to construct a parallelogram. This is an important question, regularly they are asking in exams how to construct a parallelogram. So all of the students should understand how to construct a parallelogram. Here we can check the problem. Draw a parallelogram ABCD with sides AB equal to 8 cm, AD equal to 6 cm and the angle between them is 60 degree. 
Most of the students will be thinking that here it is given only two measurements. In the last video, we have discussed about parallelogram, features of parallelogram. That is, opposite sides are equal. If the side, one side is 8 cm, then the opposite side also 8 cm. Again, here also 6 cm is given. That is, one side is 6 cm, then the opposite side also 6 cm. Again, one more thing, the angle is given only 1, that is 60 degree. In parallelogram, we already studied that some of the nearby angles are 180 degree. Now we can start with the line AB equal to 8 cm. We can draw here the line AB, that is, the point here it is A, B, and the measurement is 8 cm. And here it is given AB equal to 6 cm that we can draw right now. And the angle it is given is 60 degree, that is AB, the line AB and line AD, angle between these two lines is 60 degree, we, got, we, we can mark it right now. So here, all of you know that how to construct an angle, we are going to construct from the vertex A, the angle is 60 degree, the line baseline is such as the line here, so we can start from the right side 0. Here this is 60 degree. Here this mark. We can join with the marking point at the vertex A. And this is AD 6 cm and the angle is 60 degree. Now we can we can construct 120 degree from the vertex B because all of you studied already the nearby angle is some of the nearby angle of the parallelogram is 190 degree so we can measure one, 120 degree from the vertex B so the zero here coinciding with the line so we can start from this zero here it is 120. Now we can join the marking point and the vertex B. So this is BC, that it is 6 cm. Now we can join the point C and D. We will get the parallelogram A, B, C, D. Now we can mark 120 here. This is 60 degree. This is 120 degree. Opposite side here it is 8 cm. That is 6 cm. This is a parallelogram ABCD.